St. Leo University is committed to academic excellence for all students across all delivery modes. To help in meeting this goal, this module has been developed to assist instructors who are preparing to teach a blended course. Blended courses combine synchronous and asynchronous instructional activities. At St. Leo, synchronous instruction means that the instructor and students participate in instructional activities at the same time. Synchronous instruction may be delivered face-to-face -face in a traditional classroom, using video teaching and teleconferencing, VTT, or via the Internet Connected Classroom, ICC. Asynchronous instruction means that the instructor and students participate in instructional activities at different times, generally via our learning management system, Learning Studio. When you are developing a syllabus for a blended course, it is critical that the syllabus clearly lists which instructional activities will happen synchronously and which will happen asynchronously. When developing a blended course syllabus, you also want to remember that instructional time means the time students spend receiving direct faculty instruction. It does not include homework, reading, and other assignments completed outside of class time. These out-of-class activities are included on the blended syllabus separately from synchronous and asynchronous instructional activities. This module is designed to help you understand how to document synchronous instructional time, asynchronous instructional time, and out-of-class homework. After completing this module, you will be able to discuss the approval process for a blended course syllabus, find a master syllabus in the St. Leo portal, turn a master syllabus into a section syllabus, document instructional time for the synchronous and asynchronous portions of a blended course, and document out-of-class activities students must complete. Academic Affairs Update Policies, called ACADUPS for short, provide information on the university's academic policies and are available on the intranet via the My St. Leo portal. ACADUP 116 outlines blended course standards. You are encouraged to review the full policy as you prepare to teach a blended course. The first step in the process for you is to determine if there already is an approved blended syllabus for the course you are preparing to teach. If there is an approved blended syllabus in the repository, you will use that as the basis for your section syllabus. If there is not an approved blended syllabus, you will begin with the course master syllabus. All approved blended and master syllabi are housed under the intranet, accessed via the My St. Leo portal. To access syllabi, you will log on to the portal, then select the intranet tab. You will be asked to enter your username and password again to enter the intranet. Then, click on the Academic Affairs tab. Select master syllabi on the left-hand menu of the Academic Affairs page. Once this opens, you can search for an approved blended syllabus by clicking on Blended Courses, click here at the top of the page. Scroll through the list to find the course you will be teaching. If there is no blended course syllabus in the repository, return to the Academic Affairs tab and again access Master Syllabi from the left-hand menu. Master Syllabi are organized by discipline to help you find the appropriate syllabus for your course. Just click on the appropriate discipline and a list of courses will open. Select the appropriate course to download your Master Syllabus. 
If you found an approved blended syllabus in the repository, you will follow the process outlined here to create and submit your section syllabus the first time you teach this course in a blended format. You are required to submit your blended syllabus for approval the first time you teach it. In future terms, you will not need prior approval should you teach the same course from the same blended syllabus. To prepare your section syllabus, Add your contact information, section number, term, and other specific information like dates. Be sure to review the course schedule for the blended course to determine which instructional activities are synchronous and which are asynchronous. Be sure that adequate out-of-class activities, such as reading, homework, research papers, and other assignments, are included in your syllabus. Submit your syllabus to your center director at least two weeks prior to the date on which registration for the course begins. Generally, this means two terms plus two weeks in advance. This ensures you will have enough time to develop needed course content so that students will not experience any disruptions to their course schedule. If the course you have been asked to teach does not have an approved blended syllabus in the repository, you will find the master syllabus for the course by accessing the intranet as previously explained. To prepare your section syllabus, add contact information, section number, term, and other specific information such as dates. Information is included on the master syllabus for the Instructor of Record, or IOR. Review this guidance and use it to develop your section syllabus. Be sure to delete all IOR information before you finalize your section syllabus. You will develop the course schedule for your course based on the information in the master syllabus. For each module, you will have three columns in your syllabus one for synchronous instructional content, one for asynchronous instructional content, and one for assignments. Examples will be provided later in this module to help you. If you are teaching a three credit hour course, you are expected to have 45 hours of instructional time. In addition to this, you're expected to have 90 hours of out-of-class work for students. This out-of-class work includes completing course readings, completing homework, and completing papers and other assignments. Be sure to add this information to the section syllabus you are creating. Submit your syllabus to your center director at least two weeks prior to the date on which registration for the course begins. Generally, this means two terms plus two weeks in advance. This ensures you will have enough time to develop needed course content so that students will not experience any disruptions to their course schedule. Here is the course schedule for the first module of Accounting 202 as documented in the Master Syllabus. As you build your course schedule, you will need to break the content into two columns, one for synchronous and one for asynchronous instruction. In addition, you will add out-of-class assignments for your students. Here is an example of one way to create the blended schedule for Module 1 of Accounting 202. You will notice that for each instructional component, there is some detail of the type of instruction you will provide. Synchronous instruction, the portion that happens when you and the students are participating in instruction at the same time, includes an in-class activity, lecture, group work, and discussion. Asynchronous instruction, 
the portion that happens when you and the students participate at different times includes reviewing pre-recorded lecture material, completing a discussion, and watching video content. In addition to clearly indicating instructional activities, this sample lists out-of-class activities. Again, as you design this portion of your course, you want to keep in mind the expectation that for every hour of instructional time, students will spend two hours of out-of-class time. The remaining portion of the module will give you the opportunity to process the information presented here and to ensure your understanding. Each slide will present a true-false question and will give you the opportunity to reflect prior to hearing the correct response and an explanation of that response. True or false? You should submit your blended syllabus for chair approval each term you teach a section of the course. The correct answer is false. You will submit your blended syllabus for approval the first time you teach it. After that, you would need to submit for new approval only if you make significant changes to the blended syllabus. True or false? Synchronous instruction means that the instructor and students participate in instructional activities at the same time. The correct answer is true. During synchronous instruction, the instructor and students interact in real time. This can happen in a face-to-face -face traditional classroom using VTT or via ICC. During asynchronous instruction, the instructor and students participate in instructional activities at different times. At St. Leo, asynchronous instruction happens in Learning Studio. True or false? Students should use asynchronous instructional time to complete homework assignments. The correct answer is false. During instructional time, students should be engaged in instructional activities under the direction of the instructor. Completing homework is part of out-of-class time and is separate from instructional time. True or false? Your blended syllabus should not distinguish between synchronous and asynchronous instruction in the course schedule. The correct answer is false. You should create two columns in the course schedule to document instructional time. The first of these columns will document synchronous instruction when the instructor and students participate at the same time. The second of these columns will document asynchronous instruction when the instructor and students participate at different times. Congratulations, you have completed the blended syllabus module. If you have any questions about the content covered here, please contact me, Trish Parrish, or talk with your department chair, graduate director, or center director.